Johnny Unitas. The Golden Arm. The best there ever was. The legendary number 19 has inspired the next generation of quarterback greatness. Each year, the Golden Arm Foundation honors one man who embodies the on-the-field talent and off-the-field character of Johnny U. Brought to you by Transamerica. This is the Golden Arm Award, so this is what you'll be getting tonight. But It's important for Andrew, Andrew to see the, the sports legacy here in this state, in the, and I think in this town of Baltimore. And aside from that, I mean, he's the winner of the Johnny Unitas Golden Arm Award, and my father's memorabilia is all housed here. You know, it makes that award extra special, you know, when, when you're looking at things off the field. And, you know, I, I feel I was blessed enough to have, to have a, you know, a great household to grow up in and, and have good values instilled. You know, by my parents, and so uh, you know, you, you try to do the right thing, and it, you know, it's nice to be rewarded with 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 an award like this. For my son to be associated with arguably the best quarterback to ever play the game, uh, certainly the best of that era, is is pretty special, and, and I know he's very appreciative of, of uh, being chosen to, you know, for, for to be the John and you quarterback for this year, and there's some great, of course, you know, previous recipients. to welcome everybody to the 2011 Johnny Unitas Golden Arm Award. It's always a special night as we honor the legacy of John who practically invented the quarterback position. We knew what John was all about. We knew uh, not only his talent and his ability as a quarterback, but as a leader, which was vitally important. John was a great teacher in the way he conducted the plays, the way he was around his players. So for this to be dedicated to education is perfect. 
John sets a standard for what it means to be a professional athlete. And uh, I know as a young coach coming into this town, uh, I think you learned how to be a professional athlete, how to uh, give back and integrate into a city and the responsibilities that come with being an athlete. We were just wonderful friends and uh, just a tremendous guy. He really was, and uh, it's just uh, nice that uh, we can honor him every year. John Jr. has done a terrific job, and uh, to have someone like Andrew Luck come here. It is great to be here this evening uh, to celebrate the accomplishments of a very gifted quarterback who has just completed another outstanding year. It's hard to argue with all that Andrew Luck has accomplished on the field. This year alone, he completed and compiled 3,170 passing yards for 35 touchdowns and a 167.5 passing rating in leading Stanford to 11-1 record. Good. Andrew is also the top-ranked quarterback in Stanford's history with 80 touchdown passes, more than 10,000 yards in total offense, and a .664 completion percentage. Those are the kind of numbers that rival my father's. But what really makes Andrew Luck a worthy recipient of this award is the fact that he epitomizes all that my father envisioned when he established the Golden Arm Award. That being a great quarterback and a great person does not depend solely on your athletic abilities. It also depends on your character, your leadership abilities, your sportsmanship, and your teamwork. In short, your achievements off the field, both as a citizen and a student. Andrew Luck is a winner, again, as a, as a financial company. Uh, we like to associate with those properties, those entities, athletes, uh, that really do personify what we're all about. And we thank Andrew, obviously, going to Stanford. He's a great student athlete. He's a great leader and just a great young man. So again, much like John Unitas, we're just proud to be associated with him. That's the key is what he does off the field. I, I think he's not only a scholar athlete, but he's a young man of great character and integrity. And uh, I think he's a man of great moral courage as well. So I think he's a, he'll get a taste of this, understand the, uh, the legacy, the responsibility that comes with winning this award. And I, I think Andrew's going to be one of those guys that's going to represent America and uh, with all of its best values. And uh, he'll help transform the NFL rather than be transformed by it. I think he's got a level of head. Matter of fact, that's exactly what John Unitas had, you know, the ability to factor all that stuff and keep it in proper perspective. Uh, but to be a top quarterback, you got to concentrate on your business. And we have a special video message to you from a Golden Arm alum. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. It's a pleasure to be a part of the 2011 Johnny Unitas Golden Arm Award Dinner, though I wish I could be there in person with you tonight. The Golden Arm Award holds a place close to my heart, and I am grateful to this day to have won the award in 1997 after my career at Tennessee. The evening I spent at the event with Johnny and many of you still is a vivid and special memory. When I was growing up, my father always said his two favorite athletes were Mickey Mantle and Johnny Unitas. I think he was listing them alphabetically. Winning Johnny's award carried great significance for, for that reason alone and it gave me the chance to get to know Johnny personally. After meeting him, I could understand even more why my dad revered him so much. Since I was getting an award that I would remember for the rest of my life, I took the opportunity that night to present Johnny with a gift of my own, a pair of black high top cleats from my time at Tennessee. I hope he got some use from those. Everyone knows the greatness of Johnny Unitas, and through the work of his family and his foundation, Many people's lives in Maryland and Kentucky have been touched by the Golden Arm Educational Foundation. You are here tonight because of the foundation and with the assistance of Transamerica to honor this year's recipient, Andrew Luck. I believe I can speak for many past winners, including my brother Eli, who won the award in 2003 in offering congratulations to Andrew. You are winning an award that represents so much to so many people and I urge you to carry this forward to selflessly helping others the way Johnny always did. While you will always be measured on the playing field, some of your greatest contributions and most meaningful victories will come well beyond the white lines. That is where you truly impact lives. Congratulations again, Andrew. I wish you every success 
and I thank the Unitas family and the foundation again for what the award means to my family and to me personally. Have a wonderful evening. Now I'd like to have John and Raymond present the 2011 Golden Arm Award. Andrew Luck is the best college quarterback I've seen since Peyton Manning. This young man can do it all. Second to go for the five. Spread out. Luck rolling right. Looking end zone. He throws. And it's caught by Drew Terrell. What a play by Drew. Jumping up in the air. Just a bullet from Andrew Luck. Luck fakes a handoff. Rolling right. Looking end zone. Andrew Luck throws. A loose Caught. It's a Stanford touchdown. Fake handoff, Luck rolling right, looking end zone, delivers to Fleener, caught touchdown. What a throw by Luck and a great catch by Kobe Fleener. And Wilkerson comes in motion, the snap to Gaffney, and he's going to give it to Wilkerson, flips it back to Luck. He's going deep with the pass down the middle. Montgomery is there, caught inside the 30 to the 20 to the 15 and tackled there. Power formation, fake handoff, Luck back to pass, pressured, he's going to run, and Luck gets into the end zone, touchdown. Straight ahead running for the quarterback. High formation, Luck fakes the handoff, back to pass. Looking end zone, Toilolo, caught touchdown. Now the snap, Luck fakes the handoff, back to pass. He's looking deep down the middle, he's got Fleener caught into Washington State territory. He turns it upfield, 30, 25, 20, finally gets tackled inside the 15 and down near the 10. The pistol formation, Luck takes a snap, sprints right, pressure coming, he throws on the move, and it's caught in the end zone, Zach Ertz, touchdown. Luck under center, drops back to pass, in the pocket, now it's collapsing, he'll throw deep middle, and it's caught by Fleener. He makes a man miss, and Kobe Fleener is going to go into the end zone, touchdown. They come with a lot of pressure. Luck flush to the left, throws middle, and it's caught. Kobe Fleener. Towards the tailback, and a fake handoff. Luck's going to pass. He's got his man open to the right flat. Hewitt caught, and Hewitt end zone, touchdown. Inside the 20 to the 10. Levine Toilolo with a perfect pass from Andrew Luck. He dropped it right in there and, and a fake handoff. Luck back to pass. He throws and he's got his man caught. Kobe Fleener dragging the defender into the end zone. Touchdown. Robert Blanton just came along for the ride. And Fleener would not go down. What a play. Stanford leads 13 to nothing. 28 yards from Luck to Fleener. And they spread it out. Nobody in the backfield with Luck. Three receivers right, two to the left. Luck back to pass. Looking and he throws middle caught and diving for the goal line touchdown and it's young Ty Montgomery. To win an award, you know, named after a legend like Johnny Unitas, it means the world to me. I, uh, I, I obviously, as a football fan, you know, knew knew who he was, knew knew how prolific. He was in throwing the ball and how he you know, almost revolutionized the sport. But uh, you know, the more and more I learn about, about him on this trip, you know, from the museum, from the family, from all the speakers who've been, who've been so great, you know, it, it blows me away. It amazes me you know, for, for all the things he stood for on the field and for what he stood for off the field. It's, it's truly you know, a blessing, and I'm, I'm so grateful to, to, you know, to be a part of, of, of his legacy and, and, and hopefully carry his, his name forward still and, and you know, help, help the community and, and impact people in a positive way. Uh, you know, I, I know I, I believe football is the, the ultimate team game. I wouldn't be here without, you know, without the, the support of so many people around me. And, you know, my father, you know, everybody at Stanford, Coach Shaw, Coach Harbaugh, the old staff, and, and Coach Shaw done such a great job this year and in the years before with me. And, uh, you know, I, I want to thank Stanford as well as the university for, you know, challenging me as a person on the football field, you know, in the community, in the classroom to, you know, to, to try and do your best in whatever it is. They do an unbelievable job of, of helping, you know, people reach their potential. And it's, it's you know, I feel blessed every day to, to be able to be a part of that university and represent it on the football field. Uh, you know, what an honor. I, I don't know what else to say. I, I'm a little bit at a loss for words. It's... I'm so very grateful and, and, and thank you for everything. Much appreciated. Uh, Transamerica, uh, what can I say? 
Uh, without them, uh, quite frankly, we wouldn't be here. For over a decade now, Transamerica has been both an incredible supporter of both the Golden Arm and our foundation. And Transamerica's slogan is Transform Tomorrow. How fitting. Through their ongoing sponsorship of the Golden Arm and the Educational Foundation, they are truly living up to that slogan.